Hi, I'm Dr. McLeod. I'm an osteopathic physician. And one of the things that I really enjoy doing in obstetrics is exercising with my patients. So what I wanna do now is just show you something that I encourage women to do prior to delivery that really helps with releasing the sacrum and assisting with the passage of the fetus into the vaginal canal. So what I'm going to be doing is showing you how to stretch this bone right here. This is called your sacral bone. So what I do with pregnant patients, this is my patient here, is I tell them to practice this at home and they can even have someone help them. So we're gonna bring your legs up, go around your belly. You want your feet to be flexed as if there were a big ball here on your feet. So what this does, if you bring your legs back enough, just till you feel your bum start to lift off, you'll stretch the, the bones right here. This bone is your sacral bone. So you wanna hold this position for a couple of minutes. A couple meaning at least two to three. It will be great if you can do it for five. Yes, that's five whole minutes. What this is doing is yes, it's stretching your hamstrings here, but it's also stretching the sacrum, which is helping to open up the hips and allow for passage of the baby eventually through here. Okay, so this is something you can do at home. So the next thing we're gonna talk about is what happens during labor. So when the patient first comes in, new mom, I assess the baby and the position of the baby. The way I do this is with a series of moves called Leopold's maneuvers. So this head right here would be shaking the, would be locating, not just shaking, <laughs> locating the fetal head. Then these hands are used to feel which way the baby's spine is going. So from there, from these maneuvers like this, I can see which way the baby is. A lot of times when the baby is in a position that's not as easy to deliver vaginally, or just to open the hips up in general, I will do some moves with the patients, including having them turn to the side, just turn towards me, laboring with their knees bent here or with a pillow in between. Because sometimes these different moves, okay, you can bring that down, or now I'm gonna have you um, go on all fours. Okay, and then bring your arms up this way. Higher? Yeah, or even up higher, like, oh. it's, yeah. Okay, so if you imagine my arm right now is the back of the bed, sometimes laboring like this is actually good too because this position allows the hips to be in a different position than they are when she's laying down. So again, this is to create more movement across here in the sacrum, as well as to give more mobility of the sacral muscle. So this is something that I would do in labor too, to assist the moms with passing their babies vaginally, because that's the end goal.